Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in NS2 learning tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to evaluate PSNR of multimedia traffic using the evaluate framework. Now, before I start with the tutorial, I would like to mention that this tutorial is particularly useful for those who, who are wanting to use evaluate as an evaluation toolkit for multimedia performance analysis. Now I assume that you know the basic structure of Evalvid and just briefly mentioning that Evalvid gives you a host of uh, exe files that you can use to calculate frame loss or packet loss and average PSNR of multimedia traffic for example uh, I have this simulation folder here and evaluate is integrated in NS2 uh, I've, I've got average PSNR ETMP4 FFmpeg all these files these executable files are provided in the evaluate framework so before you attempt to perform these experiments I would like you to uh, read thoroughly the paper on Evalvid and and uh, download this package from uh, Small Course website. Now, in case you want to calculate average PSNR, uh, as as mentioned in the Small Course website or as given in the Small Course package, uh, I'm going to illustrate the steps. Now, the first step is you would need to run the simulation file and uh, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, this simulation file, um, uh, while we run this simulation file, we need to pass on five different parameters and one of the parameters is uh, the, the error module on the channel so I'm going to specify 0.4 error on the channel and when you do so a whole bunch of files are made uh, outdoor trace wireless RD and wireless ST files are made then you would need to run this file uh, you need to run this executable etmp4.exe to create um, an mp4 file at the receiver end and it is going to take uh, wireless underscore sd which is the sender trace file wireless underscore rd which is the receiver trace file and foreman qcif.st which is the statistical file the we made in the last tutorial using the awk command and of course it'll need the input file and it'll produce this file and then you could run ffmpeg.exe now this executable is going to create a YUV file now we are going to compare this YUV file with the input YUV file to calculate the average PSNR so before we actually run the average PSNR command we need to run these two commands and lastly we need we can run this command average PSNR.exe on the input and the output YUV files this is going to compare these two files and give us the average PSNR. Okay, so the average PSNR comes out to be 26.60. Now, if I change, uh, if I increase the error on the channel, then it'll give me 
an average PSO now which is which is quite less so that is how you can calculate average PSNR on this scenario uh, I've already mentioned uh, and explained this TCL file in my previous tutorial and all these parameters are passed on uh, while runtime you could change the parameters here and see how they affect the PSNR and I hope this tutorial was helpful this was a quick one but I wanted to cover uh, the steps um, to calculate PSNR using Evalvid and uh, I'll cover the theory of Evalvid in some other tutorial and uh, that's about it as always thank you so much for watching this video you all have a very very good day.